set up your Twitch TV with custom YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and donation links. I'm Quad2K, God Umbro, I'll help you set this up. Well, basically what I did is I made a uh, fake account, and you go to Twitch TV settings. You can get by here by clicking on your name and clicking on your settings key right here. When you're in the settings, you have your information, you have your short bio, and you have your long bio. Basically, with the long bio is uh, this is gonna be for the old version of Twitch TV. If you want to make a donation key, donate. You know, donate via PayPal. I use a program called Pitchin. It's very simple to use. You go to the webpage here at pitchinbox.com. I'll also post these links in my video. And once you you go and create an account, it's completely free. Once you make an account and log in, you're gonna click on this tab. This is my account right here, my account. And I already made one before. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just click on it again. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit the widget. So when you click on my account, you click on create widget. It brings the same thing. Create widget. You can just call it a uh, you know support donations donate to me to me and then all you do is type your PayPal email mine's a uh, quad to gmail that's my PayPal email and you can uh, have a coordination like I'm you know uh, I don't know a new new computer and you can have a donation goal of like I don't know fifteen hundred dollars or if you just want endless donations you just want to say you know support me and set the goal to zero and then it starts at zero and they can raise as much as you want here's the thing that's really important to you guys contributors are people who are helping out so you can say thank thank you for the support is the end date guys today is actually the 29th and this only gives you one week guys only one week by default what you want to do here is change the year 2013 to 2015 or 2016 something crazy like that this will be good now for three years um, unless this website gets shut down or whatnot so basically this pitch and link will be good for you for three years and you can put in like why why you you know need the donations in here and you just click on this thing called create widget guys and you can change the color as well once you've successfully created it will tell you it's been created successful here guys and this is the most important part this HTML code right here so it makes it so simple all you do is copy everything in this box copy go back to your twitch TV in your long bio area this is where you can put HTML links anything you want except my, even even most HTML you put in your long bio all you have to do is copy and paste this very simple and then what you want to do now is you want to kind of actually copy this info here guys your link your pitch TV widget and your ID number this ID number is only for your widget it's very important to copy so you want to do is actually copy this and I'll explain why in a second this is for your old version of twitch TV once I hit save changes you'll now you'll now notice I'll go to my profile and we'll be able to we won't see it if I go to my main page my channel on the new view it doesn't show up you don't see it I don't see anything but if you type slash old or you go back to the old version it will show up under here once it refreshes it will show up as a little uh, login box at the bottom I probably have to wait for it to refresh this is the old page version it's not refreshing I don't know what's going on here Oh, display bio by default. There you go. You got to make sure this is checked, guys. I'm sorry, I'm being, I'm not being smart. You got to make sure they can see the bio. So you want to check that box. That's my mistake right there. This is my first time running through this. All right. Now, when I go to my main page, this is a new version. New version, you don't see it. But if you go back to the old version, donate via PayPal. Bam! Right there. My pitching thing is working. The new version, it's a little different. So when you show the new version, show me the new version, to do it is a lot different. So I'm going to try the new page again. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do it. You have to go over here where it says admin. See on the top it's a little like drag down admin. You got to click on the edit key right here guys. Edit. Now this is going to bring your, your AA page. You can edit what you're doing, what game you're playing, etc. But this is where it gets a little difficult. You got to use this little scroller down here guys. And you got to scroll down to this thing called these little widget boxes. This thing is really simple to use. I'm actually going to show you guys since Twitch is converting over to the new version on how to do everything with the new version of Twitch. That's just uh, the, the pitch box doesn't work the same in this. So you click on this little plus sign right here, guys. And the main thing, uh, image links too. I'm a copy and paste. Remember the thing we copied before? That's my actual link to donate. 
and my description is like, please donate to me here. And add image. The easiest way to do this, guys, in my opinion, is just go to go to Google and just do like PayPal button, PayPal button, and go by image shirts and just grab one of these buttons from these pages, for instance, and use that. So, uh, for instance, let's say I like this one. Donate now with PayPal. This is a good one I like. I'll just do a save image as. I saved this image, right? And now I'm just going to do, I saved it, right? Show in the folder. I have so much stuff there. So now I'm just going to add an image. And I'm going to add this PayPal image. You're going to go wherever you saved the file to. You're going to add the image. See? And now I can either re you can actually resize it or use a really big image. But get something within your size. This is going to be really big, but you can resize it and change the color and you know pick a different icon that matches best for you. So let's say I want this. You click on Done. And you have a picture now that says Donate My PayPal with your correct link to your pitch-in. That goes right to your PayPal. You click on Submit. And it has a little plus sign. You're done. Same thing for your YouTube. Same thing. So for my YouTube, I have it open. My YouTube's YouTube slash Quad2K. All you do is copy and paste your YouTube. Go back here, add a link to it, and again, we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a Google image search. I mean, you, if you have an image, you want to make one, that's fine. But uh, I mean, the easiest thing to do is do a Google image search. You know, Bing image search, whatever. Go by image and YouTube. Look at all these pictures of YouTube I have here, guys. I mean, if I want, like, you could have like sub to my YouTube. YouTube update, you know, I don't know. If I'm going with big stuff already, I probably want to do like, I want to do like a sub maybe. You can even make it easier, just like sub. If you type C YouTube sub, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I don't know what the hell this is doing here. <laughs> These Google searches, man. Subscribe to. Let's say, let's say I want this little one here. Again, save image as. I'm right clicking, save image as. Saved it. I just saved it to my desktop. I'm going back here. I'm going to add the image to my YouTube. Let me find it. YouTube, see? Pretty big YouTube. I'm I'm moving it. Done. And you can name this like this is called donate. This will this will say above and this will be called sub to my YouTube. And then you can say, you know, please sub to support me again I'm hitting submit I saved it I'm hitting submit because I modified this and now I'm gonna add so that's my PayPal donations that's my YouTube my YouTube and now I'm gonna do my Twitter my Twitter is Twitter dash bro so again copy and pasting my link very simple and again I'm just gonna add an image I'm gonna add an image guys I'm going to add a Twitter image. I already have one downloaded on my computer. You guys are free to use whatever image you want. I'm using this really cool picture of this Twitter bird here, which I got off again off Google search. I'm making it this size, done. And I'm just going to call it Twitter. And I hit submit. And now when you're done, you can actually just reload your page. Just, I'm going to get rid of the edit view and refresh my page. And now if I scroll down, check that out. I am my PayPal. I am my YouTube. I have my Twitter. If I had a Facebook, you could do your Facebook, you could do your Yelp, you could do your, I don't know, your MySpace, you could you could do your live chat. I don't think you could do that. But you can do like a lot of different stuff, guys, as, many, as much stuff as you want. If I were you, try to make your sizes the same, you know, and make it relevant to whatever you stream. Like if you're, you know, you lift weights, have them like little weight sign. You can also have people make you custom, custom artwork that you can do to link. But if you notice this link now works, my PayPal goes right to my PayPal on my, on my, on my pitch in. Which goes right to my uh, PayPal. People can donate me directly. Boom. Quad 2K donations right away. Same thing too on my uh, YouTube. It goes right to my YouTube. You don't have to like spam your link into the bottom of your page. My Twitter again goes right to my Twitter. Very simple. Very easy to set up guys. The main component is going to that admin tool and clicking edit. And this is just for the new version. For the old version you're still going to have to modify your HTML. And I know other people have already done videos about that, but this is for new people who are new to Twitch who want to get into streaming and want to add uh, the different background graphics and whatnot at the bottom of their panel. Just make sure that you guys scroll down on this little scroller. That's the secret to get to these widgets. And all you need is a picture and a link. They made it 
pretty much idiot proof. You're not allowed to do HTML. That's one thing I'm, I'm going to mention. Also, if you want to move stuff, they make it so you can move stuff. See how I just kind of picked it up? You can move stuff around. So if you want your YouTube first, then your Twitter, then your PayPal, you can change your order, guys. So you're able to do this. It makes it really easy to use. If you guys have any questions or comments, please go ahead and uh, leave me a uh, comment on my YouTube. I'm more than happy to help.